Okay, so um, those who are doing the sunflower challenge, I wasn't real bright. I came out barefooted. Um, let's hope I don't step on a copperhead, right? Uh, so, gee, let me see here. Here's my, these are Justin and Jana's. So, uh, they're pretty tall, huh? And, uh, mine are almost my height. But, uh, we're going to measure those. So, uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand. So, I'm going to set the camera down. Hold on a second, and I will put it back up as soon as I get the tape measure up. Okay, what I did is I run the tape measure out as tall as the sunflower is up to the head. So, and I locked it down. So here's one end all the way down to the other. So this is one and we are at Eight foot, ten, oh, let's see, eight foot, three, four, six, seven, eight foot seven on, ooh, oops, we're eight foot seven on this, which is the tallest of these three. Hang on and I will, oh, and I got some more over here. But I guess I didn't realize I had planted. So we'll have to see what kind those are. I have some purple zinnias, some pretty pink ones, my snapdragons. I just don't know what's wrong with those cucumbers. I've been harvesting quite a few off of here though. Okay. Welcome to the jungle. Um, this is the truck patch. Look at that big old boy over there. I guess girl. My sunflowers are girls. We're going to measure that one. It's got a head, so it's not going to get any taller. And, uh, I think that's going to be a lupin. Lupin. Hmm. And my four clocks are opening up since it's about sunset. And I have a jalapeno, my okra, my lemon balm, I need to trim it back. There's some wood I got yesterday, some leaves that are going to go on my garden. There's some seeds that I scattered along the fence line. Okay, now I have a story for y'all. This big beauty right here, way up there, that was supposed to be Autumn Queen, Autumn Velvet, and was only supposed to get four to six feet tall. Well, that is taller than six feet by a long shot. So we're going to measure that baby right there, then right next to it. Right here is one of Justin and Jana's, and then one of mine. Then behind it over there is one of my mammoths. So we're going to measure this one and mine that's got the head forming over there and see how tall they are. Isn't that just pretty? Yay! That's how tall that one should have been. So I don't know what happened right there. Check out all my tomatoes. And that right there is one vine. And I've harvested, I've picked a few off of here. So time to prune them back. Oh, I got some turning red over on the Juliet's and some over here. 
bunch in there. Huh. These are those huh, 10 seeds I paid like $5. So what is that, 50 cents a seed? Something like that. My mouth sucks. All my lemon boys. Inside here, you can see some basil. And I, yep, there's some dill in there too. Right next to the cucumber leaf, some dill, and then on the other side of it's the basil. And a bunch of tomatoes there. Alright, let me get over to the... Okay, well, while we're here, we'll measure this multi-headed one that was only supposed to be six foot max. And I do have the package right next to it, if I can still read it. Yes, this was supposed to be a Velvet Queen. Maximum height. Five feet. So, uh, yeah, that peppy's uh, way taller than five feet. And we've got plants coming off like little suckers everywhere. So, okay, let me get out my tape measure and I'll come right back. Okay, right there is where I'm going to measure it, which is resting on the top of the head. So, hang on. Okay, same thing. I put the tape measure up, locked it in when it is at the ground, and it's laying straight out there. And we are looking at, let's see, eight foot one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost nine foot tall another three-quarters of an inch and it would have been nine foot tall so that one over there may have hit ten feet let's go see okay and the measuring tape is run all the way down and see how where it measures at, where it comes out of the rule, there's still two inches till it hits the ground. So that'll make up for the two inches up there and the head's also drooping down. So that two inches it's that we've adjusted and accounted for that. So let's see what we have. Okay. Looks like we're at nine foot one, two, three. So nine foot three inches on this big baby right here. And so this one here is not quite as tall. This one's Justin and Janice. This is one of my big ones and it looks like it's already putting a head out, so it's going to be a baby, and that's a baby this year, but this one looked like it did pretty good, but not as tall as last year. And that one over there, it's getting a head on it already. So, got another look at the side. We have a lot of yellow squash. One, two, three, four. There's one hidden down over in there. There's another one. So we've got four, five, maybe six Illinox squash if they all mature. I've got some ochre in here on the vines that I need to cut off. Yellow tomatoes. Is there lemon boys? My one lonely stalk of corn. And it does have tassel and silk. How sad. And these are my cayenne peppers. Look at all of them hanging on this one. 
Yay. Gonna have lots of peppers. Lots of tomatoes. I've already harvested my garlic and it's drying out. And I've got beans here already. Yeah, my corn would have done fantastic. Had the storm, and the storm, it was like a circle, had knocked. I had 15 or 20 ears planted, and it knocked them all down in a circle. And I had tried to put them all back up, but you see what happened. So, oh gosh, I gotta pick beans out here, don't I? No uh, cow peas, black eyed peas on a vine jet. And I'm gonna have to get a trellis put up over there. They uh, are climbing. One's attached to my sunflower there. Any, any, any cucumbers over here? No, no cucumbers here. So, okay, let me get out of the jungle. Oh, these are all volunteers right here. That whole area is volunteers. Oh, look what we missed today. Lemon boy, lemon boy. Oh, these taste so good. Some volunteers in there. That one looks like a honey delight. Oh, I'll show you my honey delights. This one is a brandy wine. It's a Roma. Got a couple zucchinis on down here. Looks like one might develop and one might not. Looks like there's some brandy wines in there, some Juliet's. This one's not going to do much of anything. Oh gosh, look at the tomatoes all over the ground there. Romas. And these were Ruby Eclipse. But uh, they look like what the Velvet Queen was supposed to see. <laughs> Stand back so you can get a shot of the my jungle. There it is. And we'll come down here because I know early in the year when I planted I took pictures from down here and it just looked like dirt. So yeah. There's my garden update and my sunflower challenge. Um, get out and grow something, even if it's just some herbs or a tomato, patio tomato. And right here, this is why I like Honey Delights. And they, they're like a cherry tomato, except they're yellow like this. And they just cover the vines and as long as you keep trimming and pruning and pulling off the ripe ones it keeps putting out and Laura here is your carrots dear don't look at the weeds don't look at the weeds oh and all the beans I guess I need to really get out here and pick and prune pick and prune so uh, okay you guys have a beautiful evening blessed evening stay cool if you got to be out in the extreme heat, stay hydrated, take frequent cool off breaks, um, don't make yourself sick, and uh, you'll have a great evening. So a uh, marigold comparison, though these are really beautiful marigolds. Um, they're really tiny. And other than the bright yellow, see how large mine turn into these big, beautiful hedges, beautiful bushes, like over here. See how tiny that is? Big, beautiful flower. And uh, like right here, big, beautiful hedge. And way down over here. So the yellow ones are store-bought, and they don't get real big. And these of mine are just awesome. See, and there's a 
difference there side by side the yellow star bot and then how mine's a bush so uh, I guess it's personal preference and if you're tight on space the yellow one store bot would be good if you you know have a small compact space but uh I like big ones keep as many bugs out of the garden as possible and how do you save the marigolds and make them bloom again just like that pop those heads off and then I'll set them on my bale of straw and I'll give them a few days to dry out then I pull all the seeds out of there as you can see Maybe. Hang on. All the seeds are up in there. Attached to each one of those leaves is a seed. Sorry, had a bug on me. So yeah, you just go along and pop those heads right off. And I do the same thing with pruning. And I just throw everything right back into the garden. It all composts down eventually. You might think, oh no, you're popping heads off. That's all right. It's going to help it produce more by trimming it back. And by the end of the summer, I mean last year, I was taking actual like yard scissors and just whack, whack, whack and pulling off big huge woolly branches look at that I don't want bit by that <laughs> yeah. okay so there's how you save your marigolds and it does not hurt to prune them back at all I think I'll go grab me some of those yellow heads and save some of those too Okay, bye-bye.